Contestant number three, what was the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Recently, I actually almost uh, killed her. What? <laughs> yeah, oh. she, uh, she said I wasn't squeezing too hard during intercourse. <clears throat> and next thing you know, she was on the floor seizing. Okay, first off, uh, what were you squeezing? <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, her neck. Uh, okay, gotcha. Uh. And second of all, why'd you start with recently? Yeah, yeah. recently is crazy. Uh, I mean, not too recently, but like... Recently Last night. What's up, everybody? My name is Tila Dunn. I'm 27 years old. I'm an actress and an influencer. And a fun fact about me is I still can't swim, and I can do the splits. Oh, that's cool. So what kind of guy are you looking for today? Um, I'm looking for a guy that's funny, passionate, works out, nice eyes, maybe abs, smells good, knows how to drive, lives by themselves, owns a car, owns a house, yeah. They're like, this is why you're single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are, you know, having these guys shirtless and stuff. What's your favorite body part? Size matters. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, besides the d uh, <laughs> My favorite part about a guy is definitely their arms and their eyes. I'm a huge eye girl, so if you have just beautiful eyes, I think eye contact is so sexual and just so sexy and I feel like if you have great eye contact with a person, you have really good chemistry. So, I don't know. You got busted eyes, I'm not really into it. What up YouTube, what's going on guys? Before we start the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, comment, because we're picking two lucky winners to win 50 buckaroonies if they comment within the first thousand comments. Now, we're gonna get Tila's wingman. Let's bring in the wingman! Whoa! Whoa! Look who it is! Yo, it's me! Thank God you're here! I know! Guys, we're gonna switch it up. I'm Tila's wingman today because I know who she's dating. I know what kind of guy she's looking for. And I think she needs me. Yeah. I think you need me. No, I really need you. No. So, it's time. Let's do it. But because I'm the wingman today, we need a host. And who better to host? I'll do it! We, we actually have someone. I'll do it! I would like to do it. We had someone else. Cheer! <laughs> Cheer! Hi, Hi, Tila. All right, Hunter, host away. <laughs> oh, you son of a- I will say, Tila, I feel like I've known you longer than David's known you. That, this is bad. This is true. This and is true. so I feel a little bit conflicted that you went with David as the wingman. Well, you know, here's the thing. The real tea is, David knows who I've recently dated. It's true. Which is the real tea. So I feel like you know what yeah. I'm looking for. I know the whole backstory. I know why it ended. Mm -hmm. And we're sad about it. But I know that you, can, can you swim yet? No. No, okay. <laughs> no ocean beach dates for me. Okay. Out of, out of the question. I'm excited to be here hosting. I'm excited to hear, I'm excited to be here to find you love. I feel like David, ooh. Oh yeah, you fucking up now. It's, it's a lot harder than Netflix hosting, buddy, okay? Yeah. Comment down below who's a better host, me or Hunter. Don't do that. Start a riot. No. Do it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here to help you find love. I feel like we've literally known each other for over and 10 years now. Definitely. Yeah. Like I was a little teenager when I met you. Yeah, and I'm, I know your mom pretty well yes, too. Yeah. Love Mama Dunn. Shout out to Mama Dunn. Uh, so, so why did you say it like that? Pretty well. Well, What's I do. On? Like when they were, when they would shoot um, IMO, mom. I would be mm. like backstage or in the car yes. with uh, mm. Tila's mom and in the backseat of the car. <laughs> this sounds, this sounds. Wrong. It is. That's All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, now it's time to bring out the boys. Yeah. I feel like I would have said that better, but pretty good. Boys! Vamanos los muchachos! Teela, are you ready? I think so. David, are you ready? Dude, I'm so ready. I've never, I've never been on this side. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, you turn. One, two, three. Whoa! Hello. My goodness. Sexy feet. Ooh. So many toes. I don't know about you guys, but Tila is a foot gal. Right? You remember you told me that once? Um, I 
wouldn't say I'm a foot gal. I'd okay. say uh, my fans do love my feet, though. They oh. do love your feet? They love my feet. My Snapchat community, okay, all they care about is my toes. Mm, okay. So feet is very important. If I'm you know, dating somebody, they have to have nice feet, too. Right off the bat, I see we got a little pedicure going on over here. We got some <laughs> litter. You got a little pitter-patter over there? I don't did know. he just wave at us with he his did. toes, he, by the way? He did, yeah. Can you all wave at us with your feet right now? Oh, that's beautiful. A little spread action. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that was too much. <laughs> that was number two. That wasn't me. Um, I actually would like to see uh, just a couple different emotions. Can you guys show me what you would be really angry with your feet? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, no, that one's tapping, stomping. Okay, that's good. That's what about, funny. What about really shy? Oh, okay, the one with the birthmark is still my favorite. That okay. Was so cute. Okay, was great. Good. Now, let's see, like, happy feet. Like, what's the happiest? Oh. Ooh, okay. Okay, the one all the way on the end. I like the little taps. That one's really cute. Okay. And now, wow. like, seductive. Oh! <laughs> Definitely the pedicure. Yeah, that was good vibes. The rest are like bulls Dude. attacking a matador. They're like, you know, that was wild. Fuck the shit out of you. Um, <laughs> I'm horny. Yeah, that's the perfect way to start this off. Uh, but Tila, as you know, the show is gonna start with the feet and then progressively, as we ask more questions, we're gonna get to the dick. Or what? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we are. You, I mean, depending on who you pick, you will get to the dick. Uh, I've heard some of their answers and it's insane. Let's go ahead and start with our first question. All right, boys, hello. Whoever I'm gonna date, I need to know the good, the bad, the ugly. So, first question is, what's the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Mm. We'll start with contestant number one. Tila. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that again, Tila. Ooh. Oh, so that's sexy. I think I think the worst thing I've ever done in a relationship. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? What? I think the worst thing I've ever done in a relationship. I feel like I just like loved a little bit too much. Like I gave her too much of that heart, and you know, shit. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay. We loved her too much, which could be a good thing. What do you think? What do we think is bullshit? I I'm calling BS. Yeah. What do you mean you loved, loved her, too, her too, much? too much? It was just like too good. Like. <laughs> It was so good. Like, no, no, no. Like, like we. I, I could tell you. Okay, 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 okay. I broke up with her. It was just. It was too good. She actually ended up becoming lesbian because it was so good. Like, they, she just couldn't. No. She just couldn't get someone like me again. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, I've been there. What part <laughs> of it you've been there? I've made someone. Um, I've loved. Let's move. What do we think about these toes, uh, though? If you saw your guy with a pedicure like that, would you be like, mmm, babe, sexy. Honestly, no. It's no? showing I, comfortability. No, I love it. Comfortability, babe, you know? Absolutely, I just don't think that's for me. Mm. Let's go on to contestant number two. Got some bruises right there, yeah. right above this. Yeah, what happened? War wounds. Wounds, battle wounds? Yes. What happened? <laughs> I fight for your love. Oh. He was wearing heels. Uh, that's what it was, <laughs> for sure. So, contestant number two, what was the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? So the worst thing was, it was prom with my girlfriend. Okay. There was a girl older who wanted to dance, so she asked me. I went up to my girlfriend and asked if I could dance with her. Okay. It turned into a fight and ended bad. But look, on the bright side, it's a green flag because it shows you that I'm an effective communicator. <laughs> Okay. How do you take that, Tila? Uh, you know, the fact that we're dialing it all the way back to prom makes me feel like you have not recently dated, which is kind of <laughs> worrying me. But, you know, prom was in high school. Like, how old are you? 25. Okay. Yeah, maybe, you know, it's, uh, maybe he misses her. I'm not the problem. Oh, okay. Oh. You know who's never said that? The, the person problem. who's not the problem. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I think it is good communication. You go up to your girl and you're like, babe, I want to go freak on some other girl. <laughs> That's cool, right? You cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, I asked. You can't get mad now. You mind if I lay some pipe, uh, baby? Uh, this girl wants to dance. Hey, uh, contestant number two, if you had to act out the conversation that happened with your girlfriend so we could see what your communication skills are like, mm -hmm. using one foot as you mm -hmm. and your girlfriend at the time as your other foot, could you go ahead and act that out for us? This is me. Yeah, okay. bruised up. Mm. This is my girl. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So I'll be talking to her like this. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like and this. you're facing her, that's nice. Hey, don't you think you guys should look at each other a little bit more? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was dark. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Okay. okay, that's fair, that's fair. You couldn't fair. see her. She's looking this way. Mm. So, basically, 
I go up. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, my friend wants me to dance. Friend, okay. Which this goes oh. quick. Oh. <laughs> so then I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Because <laughs> oh it's God. just a dance. <laughs> you got to remember that. It's just a dance. I still with you. I'm going home with you at the end of the night. <laughs> yep. She just didn't bring a date, so I feel bad. Oh! oh so she, went, she went to oh. another guy's. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think they just fell in love. Contestant number three, what was the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Recently, I actually almost uh, killed her. What? Oh. Yeah, oh. She, uh, she said I wasn't squeezing too hard during intercourse. <clears throat> and next thing you know, she was on the floor seizing. Okay, first off, uh, what were you squeezing? Yeah, what? Uh, her neck. Uh, okay, gotcha. Uh, and second of all, why'd you start with recently? Yeah, yeah. recently is crazy. Uh, I mean, not too recently, but like... Recently Last night? Recent. I'd say like a couple of months ago. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. So did yeah. you guys stop talking because of that incident? Yeah, I haven't seen her since. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen her since? <laughs> is she okay? Is she alive? I don't know, she hasn't posted in a while. Oh, not gonna lie. Jesus. <laughs> She might be mysterious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, she's okay, I hope. Nah, she's at okay. What, at what point <laughs> were you like, whoa, wait, I gotta ease up on this. Uh, probably when she started shaking. <laughs> oh? It gets worse. <laughs> it's just getting, like, that, wow. But she was super cool about it. She was like, do you wanna, like, still keep going? And I was like, nah, it's cool. Yeah. That is, that has Literally. to be the craziest thing you know I've ever heard that. Contest number three, why don't you act that out with your feet? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is me, and then this is her, right? So I'm, I'm from the back, right? Oh! <laughs> so I'm from the back, and then I reach around, I'm like, hey, baby. Mm. And I start squeezing her, mm -hmm. and she's like, that's it? I'm like, that's it? Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Right, right. That was crazy. I think, legitimately, oh, I think we have to blur the last part. This is so fucking crazy. I, I'm speechless. He takes a take your breath away to a different level. Yeah. yeah. Completely different Taking level. it all away. Um, oh my goodness. But honestly, I relate to him too. What the f***, <laughs> Contestant number four, what's the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Oh, it's hard to narrow down the worst thing I've ever done, but like, I would just have to go with the basic toxic traits, you know, going through the phone, being oh. a little jealous, but I'm, I'm trying to be a changed man, I promise. So you're controlling. I, I maybe in the past, mutually controlling, I would say. It's hard to take all the blame. What What did you see that like let you know that you were being cheated on? Yeah. Um, what didn't I see, right? Oh. Uh, I was lied to that my ex was studying in study hall, and then I went on Snap Maps, and she was at a frat house. So <sighs> I think that was kind of like my main, yeah. you know. He's what? an investigator. Snap Maps? Snap I've Maps never is used. crazy. That's, that's well, crazy. here's the thing, because <laughs> Snap Maps doesn't update unless you're on the app, so she fucked up and opened the app, and I was like, got you. Damn. Oh. I mean, we don't know that she wasn't <laughs> studying, though. She just might have been studying his Something dick. else. Yeah, no, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure I was totally cool. I will say this, though. I've been in a relationship since then, and I, I don't even want to touch the phone. Um, okay. if I, I agree with you, but I feel like now, if I feel like I need to catch something, I probably shouldn't even be with you in the first place. True, That's true. a great answer. You know, he's changed. Answer. He's, he's grown. a changed man. He's grown. He might be a changed he's man. He's grown. He's probably super tall. Yeah. <laughs> so what is uh? What do you rate his feet? One. I five. love his feet. Really? Thank Honestly, you so much. I just I think the birthmark just adds so much character to it. I think it's because I have a little birthmark on my toe. Wow. Well done. Oh. oh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I'm scared. You. <laughs> Next up, what maybe look like the biggest feet? Oh yeah. That's uh, that's. That's, oh my God. You know what they say about big feet, come on. Yeah. <laughs> what do they say about big feet, contestant number five? Damn, I can't give it all right now, relax. Big oh. feet, you know, just finish the sentence, use your brain. <laughs> Guess who I'm not picking, contestant number five. Okay, contestant number five, what's the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship, and be honest. The worst thing that I've done in a relationship, like, I don't know if it sounds crazy, you know, I, I like to eat a lot, so I just use my girl for her family's food. I would just go over there when she's not there, her mom will make me something, and I'll just kind of dip after that, knowing that, like, I didn't really like her daughter like that. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Hold on! It was good food, though. It was good uh, food. <laughs> so, you didn't even like the girlfriend, but you, but her family's cooking was so good, you said, Oh, num num yeah. num. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was it was two different cultures, so it was kind of like something you don't come across that often. I Damn. Just, just I just couldn't pass it up, you know. That is savage. <laughs> that is crazy. It's pretty insane. Anybody in my shoes probably would have did the same thing well, until it until it ended. Well, until it ended. Not a lot of people I can mean, fit in your shoes, but. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm one. I'm one and only. That's all. What size shoe are you? Um, that's number five. I'm a 14, actually. Whoa. Jesus Christ! Dude, I can relate to this guy too. David, <laughs> dude, what size shoe are you for real, David? Ten and a half. Yeah, good. Yeah. No. That's average. That's, Nine and a half. That's pretty big, David. I think that's pretty big. David also wears bigger shoes than his foot is. A lot of people know that. If you know David, you know that. If you knew me, babe, you'd know. Yeah. If you spend a little bit more time sucking my toes, <laughs> what? maybe you'd know too. <gasps> it's not about me. Hi, contestant number six. I like the foot wave. What is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Honestly, I'm not proud of it, but I dislocated my ex-girlfriend's back. What Whoa. is up with these injuries? Wait, 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 let me, let me explain. Okay. okay. What it was is, you know, she couldn't really carry this massive penis. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, no. Okay, look, okay, realistically, I ran into her, she couldn't handle my weight, and I basically gave her a herniated disc. You ran, ran into, into her? her? No, I ran into her to, to give her a big hug, and I jumped on her, and she couldn't handle my fat ass. How, how, Why were you how jumping much, on her? Yeah, how much do you weigh? Uh, on a good day, probably like, 176. What about the day where you dislocated your <laughs> a good a good 215. You were 215 Whoa. that day? I was 215. She's 49. <laughs> yeah. That's a tell you. 49. I like them small. But yeah. I think it's time to put on your socks contestant number 6. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Tila. Mm -hmm. Have you made your decision for who is getting eliminated in this first round? I think I think I did. It was tough. It was very hard. You know, very we, hard we, we liked two answers. We disliked two other ones. Maybe we should do a sniff check. You want to do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. No. So, unfortunately, contestant number two, you got to oh, go. Damn. Um, you know, I loved your story. I respect. Oh, I love your story. I respect it. But I just still think it's kind of weird. So. I'm not the problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. all right, you can stay. Contestant number two, come out from around the curtain and say your goodbyes. Hi, Damn, oh, so look cute. at this stud. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Wow, What's up, maybe I made the wrong choice. Oh yeah, <laughs> good job, bud. I like your tattoos. Thank you. Dude, look at his eyes. Oh my God, he's yeah, handsome. He does have nice eyes. And, and he's tall. Oops. And he's tall. Oh no, I'm scared now. You're a good looking dude, man. You Thank are. You. Do me a favor, uh, put a shirt on because my girlfriend's sitting over there. <laughs> Thank you. Gotcha. All right. All right. Wow. Tila, you did a little up and down on the way out, he didn't cute. you? Yeah, like, mm. Oh no. Yeah. Was, oh, no. oh no. He's a he's a looker for sure. Yeah. He's a cutie. Damn, I'm so regretting my decision. This is actually really bad. <laughs> well, yeah, well, he's a stud. It's only downhill from here. It's time for the next reveal. Tila, David, go ahead and turn around. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Choices of pants. Ooh, whoa, okay, we got a uh, SpongeBob over here. I love the SpongeBob. Cats. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so that's that's no. I'll take them off right now. Oh. <laughs> How about All right, boys. So as some of you probably don't know, I don't know. I'm an actress, and I've been in different TV shows and movies. So if you could name a TV or a movie, what would describe what dating you would be like? Okay, let's go to contestant number one. Okay, what do we feel about these shorts? I love SpongeBob SquarePants so much. Like, I'm constantly sending my friends different memes um, of SpongeBob. So, mm -hmm. honestly, green flag. I yeah. love you. <laughs> so, is that an impression of Patrick? Patrick? What? <laughs> so, who was the second one? <laughs> it was the chocolate chick. Oh. Whoa. That's actually Whoa. pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. That's, That's a pretty good SpongeBob. Wild. That's the sound he makes when he comes. You should hear that oh. later on. Oh! All right, so contestant number one, go ahead and answer the question. If I had to pick a movie or a show depicting our dating life, it'd be Holes. Because I'm digging every single one of them. Oh my god. Whoa. Gotta dig them whole, whole. Oh. Gotta dig them down. Oh, yeah. oh, you you gotta right dig right them whole, whole, whole. At first I was freaked That's out, that. but now I'm into it. <laughs> I see, I'm the opposite. You, know? you were now into I, it and now I'm into it and now I'm freaked out. Okay. So uh, you like the whole thing? No. Oh. I liked the SpongeBob impressions. The oh. holes are no, no, scary. Babe, we can go back to that, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, can, we can do that again. <laughs> <laughs> We're still there. Come on. All right. Okay, moving wow. right along. All okay. Right. 
All right, contestant number two. Yes, what would our dating life be like if you had to name it after a TV show or a movie? Uh, I'd probably have to go with the movie Scream, just because I'm going to have you doing that all night. Oh my because god. Because we're watching scary movies, of course. Oh. And fuck. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was a roller coaster right but there. But mainly the scary movies. Okay. Okay. That's sweet. Ah. And then... That's so <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see that's that? That's the guy that choked the girl. No, oh. that wasn't Wait, me. Dude. She said I wasn't squeezing too hard during intercourse. <laughs> and next thing you know, she was on the floor season. I'm terrified. I like your bracelet, though. Thank you. That's such a crazy <laughs> switch up, Tila. He did. He's like, he's nuts, but are you going to be chugging me with that hand? Because I like the bracelet. I don't want to die, but is that Sterling? <laughs> uh... Contestant number three, what about you? What so, would dating me be like? So first of all, I'm an actor, too, so we could definitely film some movies together. But I would have to say Avatar The Way of Water because things are going to get pretty wet. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't swim, so... Um... I can teach you, I can teach you. Oh. I have a question, contestant number three. You're Excuse saying me. The Way of Water uh, yeah. as if you have this uh, kind of superhero ability to get women wet. What is your <laughs> technique, if you had to describe it, like what is the thing that you do that maybe most men don't? Well, I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> it's not a specific technique. Every woman is a lot different than a man. Like men are very easy to make come, right? But women, everyone, they're, all their vaginas are very different and I think it's just emotionally getting to know them on a deeper level until you could figure out what works for them. That's actually a great answer. That's a great answer. And a lot of guys don't do the work and they just wanna. And contestant number two, what's your go-to technique? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant number four, what about you? Dating me would be like the Netflix series Last Chance You. Um, because all I need is one chance to show you how I can win this championship, you know? I feel like I'm into sports and I don't know if you are too, so that's a sports show and you just need one chance or so. You could be your last chance, maybe your last guy. Mm, I don't know. Okay, contestant number five, what about you, mister? Contestant number five, by the way, before you answer, I just want to let you know that there is a Netflix show called Blown Away that is the perfect answer to this question and none of you <laughs> have even thought about it. So that's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but go ahead. Blown away. <laughs> Honestly, I would say how I met your mother. That way I can tell our kids how I met you. <gasps> That's so That's cute. sweet. That's sweet. That was, I love that answer. That might be my favorite answer. God. Dang. I think it's five stars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. Who do you think has the best legs here? Oh, that's a great question. Who's got Oh, yeah, can you turn, turn around? around. Who's got the best ass? And actually, can everyone, yeah, can everyone oh. uh, flex their ass really hard right mm -hmm. now. There <laughs> She's gonna go do a, a touch test. You wanna go? Yeah, okay, here we go. If you don't want her to slap your butt, turn around and she'll slap your cock. <laughs> Damn. Okay, go, go down the line, Tila. Okay. Oh, that one was crazy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Yeah, could everyone, can you make a noise contestant number three that you think represents how you would make a noise when you got spanked? Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and do contestant number one now since we're doing this new bit. <laughs> oh, oh, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, damn. Oh, oh my God. You're lying. Oh, my God. You're joking. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, oh, why? Jesus. Dude, that genuinely is hurting my stomach right now. You're crazy. That's so I've never heard Hunter laugh like that. Oh, dude, I'm, a, I'm literally, I'm crying right now. So funny. Okay, okay, everyone calm down, everyone calm down. Dude, can you go spank number one's ass one more time? No, I can't. I'm done with number one's ass. Wow. That's, no? wow. Are you okay? You're still Dude, done. That is so funny. I don't I just think uh, the channel has reached like a new level. <laughs> okay. It looks like we've made a decision. Tila, oh. who do you want to eliminate? This is a very, very hard choice. But unfortunately, I have to get rid of contestant number two. Oh. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Contestant, contestant number two. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh my God. God. Hey, Hello. let's go. How are we? What's up, brother? Thank you. Hi. Hello. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'm Gianni. Nice to meet you. I'm Tila. Uh, Gianni, how do you feel being eliminated? I'm a little upset. I think I might have went a little too aggressive. 
but what part of maybe what what you said was too aggressive in your opinion? It might have been the hands, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I see that was my favorite part when you. That's what, ah. Yeah, ah, yeah. You know, some 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 girls like it. Ah, you know. Great yeah. body though. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you, contestant number two. Thank you guys. Really Tila, David, go ahead and turn around. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Dude, that is nice! Wow! All right, it is time for question number four. Tila, whenever you're ready. Okay, hello, contestant number one. Yo, what's up? Please don't fart on me. Oh, um, fuck. so. Oh, <laughs> I am a very, I would say my love language is physical touch and quality time. Because of that, what part of the body would you like me to touch and why? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'd say my butthole. Oh. <laughs> be for like to wipe in the hemorrhoid cream, you know? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, can you pick another body part, please? Can she feel your belly since you were feeling it? <laughs> sure. Okay. Chase the dragon, dude. Come on. Can you shake it? Whoa. Beautiful. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy right now. Is that a new fetish for you? No. Yeah, yeah, can, can, like, can you play a song, Tila? That muffin top, A just... Hit go on top, say girl, hit that muffin top. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Hey. We gonna hey. hit the muffin oh, top okay. like a bubble dip. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> contestant number two, what body part am I allowed to touch and why? You can touch my arms just so you can get a feel of, <laughs> just so you can get a feel of like what'll be picking you up later, that's all. Oh. oh! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, big arms. Nice. Okay, contestant number three. Ooh, what body part can I touch? Uh, I would have to say my back, so that I know you'll always have it. And I Ooh. love a good back massage. Oh, okay, go ahead and feel that. That was actually a great answer. Okay. It's okay. got a good back. Ooh, oh. ooh, the scratches. Okay, nice back. <laughs> contestant number four. What body part shall I touch? Honestly, I would say my arms. That way. I can catch you when you fall in love with me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it felt really similar to contestant number yeah. two. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a trust fall right now. Go. No. <laughs> <laughs> David, what do you think is the wingman? Who, whose body, David, do you like the best? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, but just personally, like who I would fuck and stuff? Yeah. Like, is that the question you're asking? Yes. Yes. Okay. And would you top or bottom? Well, That's a great question. Obviously, okay. I'm the top, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's giggling like a bottom a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're flirting already, dude. Yeah, I feel like you no, guys have contestant a number one, dude, me and him, we just, yeah. you know? It's all night. You have a tough decision to make. So this is actually a really tough decision. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But which set of nips are you sending packing? I have to go with contestant number one. I'm so sorry. No! no! I'm so sorry. Just dropped our body. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Your <laughs> hair is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm Archer. Nice to, nice to meet you. you. Honestly, I loved everything about you. That fart was immaculate. Oh, looking at me. Everyone's been looking at you the whole time. You just couldn't see. Really? Yeah. 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 Out of the last three guys, who would you uh, have the most compatibility with sexually, you think? Compatibility? Mm -hmm. Sexually. From the last three guys? Yes. So like, who am I compatible with from the last three guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sexually? Okay, <laughs> you get out of here, go. <laughs> That's the number one. Give it up for uh, Archer. This leaves us with our final three contestants. This Ooh. is a very important round. Ooh. Okay. David, how are you feeling about that last elimination, by the way? That was honestly really tough. I feel like I met my new best friend. Yeah. I uh, really want to hang out with him. I feel like you're definitely going to find someone you're going to want to go on at least one date with and have them pay for sure. Definitely. It's time for our second to last question. Okay, boys. So one thing about me, I love to eat. So if you could describe your personality with one food, what would it be and why? Contestant number one, you start. All right, you know I like to eat, so if I could describe it with, you know, with one food, I would say it's macaroni and cheese. You know, you got a little bit of soul in there. Everybody loves it, like you can't walk past macaroni and cheese and not grab it, so you know? Mm. It's, just, it's a Thanksgiving essential, that's all. I actually could not agree more. I love Yum. my mom's homemade macaroni and cheese. It is God. my favorite. Um, wow. I'm lactose intolerant and I still grab that shit. 
I'm gluten it. intolerant, so you can leave contestant number one. Hey, 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 it's for the girls only, <laughs> not. <laughs> I like okay. it. He may, he's a little cheesy too. There's nothing wrong with being a little cheesy. Yeah. Watch the mac and cheese. Different lot. type of cheeses. Oh. If you make it right. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. And he wants to mac on you, dude. Oh. oh. Okay. Ch Contestant oh. number two. <laughs> what food would describe your personality? Uh, probably my two favorite types of food choices. First off, I'd have to say a big steakhouse dinner because I've got some class, but I know I'd have a good time. And okay. secondly, I love sushi because it's fresh and you know sometimes it's delivered raw. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's crazy. That's talking about his dick. Bro. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. Dang. Also, yeah. a cheater. Chose two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, contestant number three. What about you? I would say I'm a donut because I'm feeling really empty inside, and I really want you to fill me up. <laughs> Okay, I think if it was maybe um, reverse, yeah, where you it would fill be a her up. So yeah. her, what is she gonna fill what you up? What am I filling you up with? Let me know if you want to get glazed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I like, Dude, I like went too far the other way. Yeah, he was like, you know what? Let me just save this with uh, this one right here. I do wonder the the fill you up part though. Is there any part of you that does like maybe a little bit of? And it's not wrong to like this. I think it's becoming much more common, but a little bit of butt play. Butt play? The, yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his feet. I don't know. No, no. No, I don't. No fingers near your butt. No. Oh, okay. Your there was a butt. Oh, oh, he's a little shy. Okay. 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 All right, we got a lot, dude. We got a lot to discuss. A lot to think about. Butt play. Uh, raw. Glazed donuts. Yeah, I mean, you have three good options in terms of food dishes. It's just a matter of which one you're... Which one do you want in your emotion mouth? Yeah, which one do you want in your mouth? Which one are you emotionally <laughs> responding to? Which one makes you salivate? So go ahead and turn around, mm. and you and David mm. will make your final, your second to last decision. Oh, that was a quick decision. All right. All right. Yes. She's fully aware of what yes. she wants to do. So, Tila, this is the last decision you'll make before we reveal the final two. So who are you sending home? Contestant number three. You're gonna have to pack it up. I'm so oh, sorry. Damn, oh, hey. Sweet face. How's it going? What's your name? Mark. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Tila. David. What's up, Ross? Looking pleasure. good as always. Mark, it's a real pleasure having you on the Likewise. show every time. See you guys. Take care. See you later, bud. Doesn't he look like Alice was home? Yes! Yes! Yeah. Really I get does. that a lot. You really, like, you straight up do. I thought that was you. I was like, oh. Yeah. You're like, dang, I made the wrong decision. Yeah. This guy's <laughs> got a whole production studio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> David, how do you feel about the decision? That kind of was spraying upon you. Yeah, um, no, I liked it. You know, I think uh, I was confused. I don't, I don't know if she would have been able to uh, fill him up. Yeah. With something. No. No, but there's three other contestants that have been eliminated that could take on the job if needed. Yeah. Um, so you guys chat amongst yourselves about that. Teela, are you ready for the final reveal? Yes, I'm scared. David, are you ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> I know how they look like and I'm so excited. Yeah, okay, well you two turn around. Final two contestants, go ahead and step in front of the curtain. Ugh. I'm gonna dip for you. Oh shit. God damn. What the fuck? Damn, I'm What's excited. Oh my Whoa. god, they're kissing. Uh, okay, oh okay. Um, Tila and David, you can go ahead and turn around. Oh my Ooh, god! Okay. Cuties. You got sunglasses? Just ready to go. Ready to go. We're going to the beach right now. Hey, well, okay. I can't swim, so. I got you. Okay. That's what I'm but scared. it doesn't matter that she can't swim. You should see her tell you that she can't <laughs> swim. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the that's real that's treat. So I love to travel. If you could teleport us anywhere in the world right now, where would you take us and why? Okay, let's see. If I could teleport all mm -hmm. you guys anywhere right now. This is no. all of us. We don't have to go. Yeah, we don't have to go. No, no, y'all can, can go too. Can go oh, too. really? If I could teleport all of you guys right now, I think okay. I would teleport you right back to the studio just because I can't leave without her. Just to show you I got powers, that's it. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? Like, so you would teleport us gonna, back here? You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna teleport, but then you're gonna come right back here because I can't leave without you. But where are we teleporting to? Right back here. No, he wasted his fucking teleportation <laughs> right, right back to here. go right here. He, he right had one here. chance. He'd be like, boom, stamped his ticket. 
And he was like, oh shit. Just to show you I got the powers, I can't, you know, that's it. Like, he's like the guy where the genie goes, you have three wishes, he goes, man, I wish you were here a minute sooner. He goes, you got two left, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. I will say, we've it's been bullsy. doing shows like this for over a year, and that's one of the worst answers <laughs> I've <laughs> ever heard in my Sometimes entire life. Sometimes you can't reveal the powers all too much, so it's just, just something slight, just to show you that, like, I got the powers, maybe, right back maybe here. Maybe he's trying to be cocky, he was like, yo, I'm gonna give the worst answer and still fucking beat this guy. Mm. When you're tall, dark, and handsome, you know, you're... you can do whatever you want, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, I would have to say, I'd probably send myself straight to a jewelry store, come right back, and then teleport both of us to elope in the Amalfi Coast, where I would propose. Whoa. That's, That's crazy. way too soon, buddy. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Listen, it's not way too soon. If I could literally teleport us to the Amalfi Coast, I feel like we could run things up a little bit quicker. Yeah, if that That's really true, happened, right? you, would you be like, fuck it, I should probably marry this guy. Yeah, right? <laughs> Contestant, <laughs> contestant one, what do you think about contestant number two's answer? Well, he teleported two times. I only teleported one time, so, you know what I mean? He's like, second try time hard, time. try my second, my second one's hitting right now. Okay, know. okay, so if you could tell, if we gave you one more teleportation, <laughs> where would you take Where it? would you go? It's gotta be somewhere, somewhere crazy like, um. Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> right back here. Right down the street, all right? Maybe He's that's like, a little oh. further. Um, you know, I feel like Waldir and answers were very revealing. I don't feel like it's enough to make a final decision. So let's ask one more question. And that question is. Okay. So contestant number one, what is the craziest thing you've ever done to impress a girl? Um, craziest thing I've done to impress a girl was it just like get covered in mud. Uh, I feel like, <laughs> and then yeah, just got a little dirty, got a little muddy together. And then like, I feel like just cleaned her up after that. That was just pretty much. You cleaned, cleaned her, her up? up. Yeah, cleaned what do you mean up. you cleaned so her we're up? We're both covered in mud. You've like, never been to one of those like um, mud things where you're like, you're dipped in mud. Oh yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 like a spa kind of thing. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Like the mud, a mud pit. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, he's willing to get down and dirty mm. for you. I think that's mm. what he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. And he'll be adventurous, go to caves, cages, whatever. Mm. Would you be willing to do that? Hell yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, contestant number two then. Yeah, what's the craziest thing? So I've been a romantic since I'm young, right? So I actually had a really big crush on this lifeguard when I was like 10. And I would do these underwater breathing contests and she was watching. So I was like, I can't lose, right? So I, I, I didn't lose, but I did pass out. And she had to take me out of the water and resuscitate me. So he's willing to die for you just to get a little Willing taste. to die. I love that. So you have one guy who's willing to die for you, uh -huh. and the other guy wants to teleport right to where he is right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Still stands by the Nobody's willing to get down and dirty. Another mm -hmm. man willing to die for you. Now it's time to make a final decision. David, Tila, you guys can go ahead and talk. All right, this was a really tough decision. I think just because of y'all's last answer of how, you know, you went above and beyond to impress a girl. I think just getting down and dirty just isn't it for me. Okay, that's fine. But it's so sad because you are so handsome. We cleaned up after though. Okay, okay. Um, you're really hot. Appreciate that, you too. Hell yeah. Well, this is Tila, yeah. you can see her. Why you on TV, hell yeah. Oh. They picked uh, the right people. Let's relax. Uh, she made her decision. All right. <laughs> you guys get into it. <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Oh, Javian. I feel Javian? like sometimes we talk too much, I say my name afterwards, you know? Well, you better move fast. Sounds like, looks like he's gonna DM her right after Probably this. Probably not. Well, <laughs> thank you, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Sheila, what do, you, what do you think about your choice? Um, I think I made a great choice. Um, he's hot, he's sweet. And it seems like he, you're working on yourself. I am, I try. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. We're gonna have to do that first date dinner. Yeah. yeah. Or sushi. You wanna look at her phone real quick? Just to make nah, sure. Nah, nah, nah. It's the pass, it's in the pass. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> He's like, what's your pass code? <laughs> All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's give it up. <laughs> Woo! I got a man. Okay, here we go. Same question number four. I'm really into fitness. I go to the gym often. If you saw me at the gym, what line would you use to approach me? Okay, so I'd say, my workout partner isn't here today. I was wondering if you could stretch me out instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Pop, 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 poppies.